Yo, what up everyone? It's your Jay here, bringing on another Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplay with the commentary. And I'm on the map Turbine. I go 96 and 2 on this gameplay. Really impressive in my mind, but I could have got that 100 plus. People started backing out, and it was really, really annoying. Really, really irritating. And definitely, guys, it was something that I was really stressed out, stressed out about. But whatever, guys. I hope you all enjoy this gameplay. And I'm almost at 500 subscribers. Amazing. Incredible. I, start, I burped. Whatever. So, guys, you can leave your questions through the comment section below. You can leave your questions on Twitter at jshots, J-S-H-O-T-Z, underscore. Or you can leave your questions on my PSN account. So, definitely, if you guys want to know more things about me, leave questions in wherever you guys want to do it. So, definitely, I thank you all for viewing my video. Thank you guys for everything that has happened and throughout this past year really is a big step in YouTube. So really want to thank you all. And I'm doing this question and answer segment for all of you guys when, when I hit 500 subscribers and which is going to be really, really soon. So let's get right into the commentary. But before I go into it, I really want to give you guys a precautious because you guys might fi find this a bit racist. Um, I really don't like doing racist videos at all. And this is not really racist. Like it's racist to my own kind as a Filipino because as Filipinos we have a lot of things that are messed up with us. Like we have a lot of gay people. I'm really cool about homos at all because homos because th I respect them. God told us to treat everyone as the same as the same person, and that's why I really like like I'm I really embrace that Filipino gayness because I don't really care about it at all. But there are a lot of people who are in Philippines that are really gay, and if you guys don't know that, I think it's one out of every three people who are born in Philippines that are boys, they become gay in some sort of way, and it was kind of crazy. This video was a lot of shit went down, and guys, I really just want to clear up to you all that if I, you find this a bit racist, don't worry about it, guys. Uh, it's meant to be a bit racial, um, so definitely guys i hope you all enjoy this gameplay enjoy this commentary it's a bit funny also as well a bit freaky in my mind i still remember what happened what what kind of crap went down so let's go right into it so i was eight years old and i left canada because my parents wanted to go to the philippines and we went to philippines for about two months and i really met a lot of great people there i met my cousins on my on my dad's side i met cousins on my mom's side also and I met a lot of great people along the way, a lot of nice people, really nice, kind, and dedicated people. I, let, I met a lot of ghetto people, ghetto people also. It was kind of crazy, kind of hectic in my mind, but yo, whatever. It was Philippines, um, really a, a poor country, and I picture one, one day just helping out Philippines because I love that country. I love all the crap about it, love the beautiful girls, love the gay people, just kidding about that, but... The gay people are, like, some of them are cool. Like, they didn't even act gay. Like, a bunch of transsexuals also there. So, Philippines, there's a lot of crazy crap going down. And I really want to help Philippines. So, let's go. So, let's go right into the commentary. I, I know I went a bit off topic there. But, guys, uh, bear with me. This is my 30th take. Oh, my gosh. So, guys, what happened was that in Philippines, um... I went to a bathroom and my I didn't really have to be but my uncle did so my uncle told me to wait outside I was waiting outside patiently and an eight-year-old kid to be honest an eight-year-old kid a lot a lot of things can happen to that like abusement whatever harassment it was kind of crazy so this is what happened three Filipino gay guys it was like a gangbang I felt like it but three Filip Filipino guys pushed me to a corner and they started doing crazy crap to me. They started seducing me. Started like I know one guy tried to pull off my shirt. Um, one guy I think tried to pull off my pants. I'm not too sure what happened, but what happened was that uh, I remember someone kissed me in the lips. I'm pretty sure one gay guy or one transsexual gay guy um kissed me in the lips and it was kind of gay. I really didn't know what to do. I started yelling, but they were all teaming up on me and they started kissing me through whatever and. It was kind of crazy. It was kind of crap. Like, a lot of crap went down at that time. It was not really the safest area of the Philippines that we went to. But a lot of crazy crap went down there also. I think one guy tried to pull my pants off and tried to touch my one-inch cock, Asian cock, um, as you guys might know. But it was really, really uh, scary. It was really, really thing. I could have lost my virginity there. But then after that, 
what happened was that my uncle came out, he heard me yelling, and what he did, he grabbed um an object, I th I'm pretty sure it was a stick, uh, I'm pretty sure it was a broom, like, and used the wooden part, started, and I remember, oh my gosh, the guy's like, he, the guy turns around, he goes full on MLB, full, full power, hits the dude in the face, dude starts bleeding in the mouth, and then after that, the other people started running. He he. You know what he did to that other dude. You know what he did to the other person also. One guy got out of way. He. You know what he did. The the transsexual tried to fight fighting back, but my but my uncle he he grabbed the broom and put it right into his ball sack, right into it. And oh my gosh, it was like the most scariest thing ever. But right now, as I think about it, as looking back to it, it was really really funny. And started hitting them started hitting them more like he made one guy bleed uh he lost a tooth i'm pretty sure he did lose a tooth really got mad at my uncle but my uncle started hitting him some more and after that like what well, it was crazy crap that went down a lot of crazy crap and i think the police got involved with it but it was like harassment and everything so it was kind of really crazy but my uncle yo he stood up for me i really love that guy um really want to bring him to canada and he really stood up for me and he really smacked those filipinos those gay filipinos in the faces so really um i really want to thank my uncle for doing that for me i uh, really telling me to toughen up and just like fight back because they're gay people they won't do anything to me um he could rape me at that point and rape an innocent eight-year-old but it was kind of crazy so definitely guys it was really one of the most scariest moments but now i look back at it i was like yo whatever it was pretty funny so i definitely hope you guys if you enjoy this commentary if you guys do leave a like it's my 30th take oh my gosh and also 500 subscribers i'm almost at there soon leave your questions through twitter youtube or psn thank you all for watching and have a great day guys i'm out peace